Yeah, is it? Yeah, you know what? It's all based on continuous um, blocks. Like, it'll go right through the walls, actually. <laughs> so your your walls, um, your background walls, it's about, okay, that was continuous sky. I just filled the entire sky with stone. <laughs> Oopsie! Hey, everybody. So uh, I haven't forgotten about you, my Terraria fans. I've uh, just... Things have gotten a little more complicated now that I'm in my uh, hard mode world, as well as, of course, I've been busy with some other projects. But um, this has given me an excuse to show you a utility I've wanted to show you for a while. It's called T-Edit. It's uh, not just a world viewer like Terraforma, which I showed you earlier, but it's also an editor. It uh, basically allows you to treat your entire world like an MS Paint project. So you'll normally download it as a zip file. Of course, you'll need to uh, extract that to a folder right click extract usually um, I've already done that so let's go over here this is where I've extracted it and then you'll need to run the uh, executable which is called tedit xna of course you can create a shortcut to that and uh, then just go ahead and run it it'll take a second to load up you'll need uh, .NET 4.5 or better and when it comes up um, it'll allow you to open your world so let's just uh, maximize that as well so under file menu open and it'll go to the default worlds location, which is uh, documents, my games, Terraria, worlds. I've got a few worlds in here, but this is the one I've been playing with, text wor or test world. It's the one I've shown in my other videos. And see, here we go. It, so initially it looks a lot like, you know, something like Terraforma World Viewer. Um, now, as far as moving around, you can either use the scroll bars, but you can also uh, use the arrow keys on your keyboard or hold down your middle mouse button, usually your mouse wheel, and uh, just pan around like I was doing there. You can also, of course, scroll in and out just by pointing where it is you want to scroll to and uh, just, you know, turn your wheel on your mouse. So here we go. Uh, it's got a little grid system as well because, of course, this is an editor, not just a viewer. So let's go ahead and show you some of the features. We've got a bunch of tools along the left, but most of the interesting ones are towards the bottom. Um, you've got a pencil, brush, and fill, uh, and so on. I'll show you the others in a second. So you can use these either with tiles, which are your you know, actual physical like dirt blocks and whatnot, or the walls, which is your background. Uh, so you can apply one or both at the same time. I'm just going to first let's do some tiles. I'll draw a little dirt structure in the sky here. Um, and I think it does leak through, like if it's not a solid, solid wall, if there's like a corner like that, that's not full. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So let's, uh, go ahead and put a wall in there as well. Uh, this is where we might use your fill option, although you do need to be careful with the fill option. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. You know what? It's all based on continuous, um, blocks, like it'll go right through the walls actually <laughs> so your your walls um your background walls it's about okay that was continuous sky i just filled the entire sky with stone <laughs> um so be very careful with that it's the same thing um i was finding like over here uh, i haven't placed these background walls these dirt walls so if i fill this in it's going to fill like the entire underground wherever it's a dirt wall the entire continuous area of dirt wall that's by default there underground it's going to fill that just like it did with the sky so i'll get to uh how to deal with that in a second be careful with the fill option uh, but what we can do is fill this little area in with dirt if we want to in the foreground again you just need to check or uncheck whether you want to do tiles or walls um, so there i did a blob of uh, dirt blocks <laughs> but we we've got a huge list of uh, different things we can put in here so say I mean if you want to cheat a little you can certainly use this utility to do it um, maybe I can just go ahead and uh, let's say I want some adamantite ore I can make that a blob of adamantite ore instead and it's right there now I'm not going to use it to cheat like this um, what I was actually uh, getting into this for was to uh, deal with what I was showing you in my uh, hard mode guide episodes where I had, had to like dig this chasm all by hand, um, this giant tunnel just to like cut the corruption off from the areas that it could spread to. But let me show you what we can do instead of that. So um, here I'm gonna switch to the pencil because it's again safer. I don't wanna wipe out the entire corruption. I mean, I could do that as well. Um, 
But what I'll do is let's just draw a little line of clay block here to separate that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill that with wood because, you know, you always need wood, right? And there we go, that little area um, to the left of that line, I've just filled that with wood. And I can mine that out and I'll have some wood, or I could even use this utility to clear that stuff out instead. I could use it as an eraser. Um, and yeah, you can even do like wires and liquids and stuff in here. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. It's a very powerful utility. You also have the sprite option here. So if you choose sprite and go to your sprites tab, um, you can use that to place like torches, decorations, all kinds of stuff. So a major thing that a lot of people will use this utility for is like building those super fancy houses that you see people have on the internet. I'm not going to spend all kinds of time on that, but you can like, okay, I want to like put in a bunch of mushrooms. There we go. Put in mushrooms, you know. <laughs> um, so you can use it for all kinds of things. Obviously, you can use it for things that would be considered cheating. Um, personally, I'm just going to use it to save myself a lot of time in terms of like cutting off the corruption because that takes forever. It take me hours and hours to do that in game, and I can just do it, you know, in a, a matter of minutes here. Um, you can also use this morph utility, which is interesting. So there, there's also, in addition to the pencil, there's a brush which allows you like to do a whole block area at a time and you can adjust the size of the block. Um, so you can do like a whole big block or you can do a little block and you can use that like to kind of paint with or whatever. Uh, but you can also use this morph utility which will actually convert things into their original natural or um, alternative. Like say I want to purify this area of corruption. See, I can just change that and it automatically changes it back to the original ice that the corruption had taken over. Or I can conversely um, change that to corruption. I can even put crimson in here, which is interesting since this is a corruption world. Um, or you can put in halo. You know, basically you can, you can convert um, one area to a different area just by wiping that over top. <laughs> so, um, as I was saying, though, you do have to be very careful with this. I've disabled the autosave. By default, autosave is enabled, so don't go messing around like I am, you know, just painting whatever, wherever um, with the autosave on because it's going to save over top of your world. What you might want to do first is take a backup. So let me show you that. Um, now that uh, your world files are normally saved under your documents, it's under My Games and then Terraria and then it's Worlds. So um, this is where your world files are. You might want to like get a USB stick or just right click copy this and put it somewhere else. So you have a, a copy of your world somewhere else. You can do the same with your player files um, just in case you um, do something that might affect them. So players worlds, you might just want to back up your whole Terraria folder um, and just save a copy somewhere else before you go messing around too much. Uh, it will try to do a backup, but it's a good idea to have your own. Um, also, another thing that you can do with this is edit the world properties. You can change your world name. You can, uh, you know, change like current events, like just make it a blood moon. You can even put an eclipse. You can change which bosses the world is um, considered are defeated. So like these are the bosses, all the pre-hard mode bosses are the ones that I've defeated already. So those are all checked, but I could just uncheck those or I could pretend that I had defeated some of the hard mode bosses just by checking those. You can edit which um, hard mode ores you get. All kinds of stuff. Um, which NPCs, again, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and you can even edit your NPC names just for fun. You could rename all your uh, NPCs to some funny names. I might do that because that's sort of funny. Um, the undo doesn't work very well. So again, that's a, a reason to uh, see, like, look at this. If I start trying to undo some of the stuff I've done, like some of it works, but sometimes it doesn't. Actually, most of that worked. But I've also found in some instances the undo doesn't work properly. So uh, keep an eye on that. Like, well, my stone sky, I think if I try to undo that, it's not going to work. <laughs> See, I've undone some of this stuff, but I can't undo the sky, changing the entire sky. Or maybe it's going to work now because it seems to be taking a second. But I have found in some instances it doesn't work, so be careful with uh, with that. Take a backup. It's always a good idea. Um, 
so that's more or less it actually um you just have to be careful with it but you can do so much with it it's so powerful uh incredible utility uh so i hope you like this video uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments i'll uh, add the link to where to download it and maybe some information on that in the description um i hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching uh check out my other videos subscribe if you haven't already and uh well i'll see you next time so thanks again for watching uh, bye for now and uh let me know if you want to see more